All right, peeps. Today was the day. I finally stuck my big, fat, hairy, stubby toe. Toes. Actually, I was standing in the. And I'm telling you, she is mighty, mighty chilly. So. I've been able to say that I went, I, I stuck my toe in the Atlantic Ocean and I stuck it in the Pacific Ocean, which feels like this should be the Atlantic Ocean out here because, you know, alphabetical order, Northeast, South and West, A and P. I really sucked at geography, <laughs> totally sucked at geography. Um, so yeah, it's been kind of a cathartic trip out here. Um, I did it to kind of prove to myself. I've been telling people for a long time that this is my um, get busy living while actively dying trip. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been a heck of a go. I have a lot of people to thank for this. Um, just giving me the, the push to do this to prove to myself that even though things and my outlook are not perfect or great um, that each and every day um, we don't know what the, what the day is going to bring us so we just try to do um, the things that make us happy and I know with work and stuff it always kind of gets in the way and financial issues kind of get in the way, but um, I made the commitment to do this. Unfortunately, um, a lot of you know my situation and I'm not able to return to work. So I chose to do this and I knew that it was gonna cost me a lot of money. I knew that it was going to take a long time. And um, yeah, I, you know, just reaching the Pacific Ocean here you know it doesn't solve all of my problems and I know that it's probably kind of it almost seems fake because you know I just post the good things I don't post when I'm sick in the van or all of the times I had van trouble and I've had situations where my van wouldn't turn on <laughs> I had situation where my van wouldn't turn off and ran and ran and ran and ran and um, Thankfully, the Mercedes-Benz dealership took it in and reset things, and we got it figured out what it is. Um, it wasn't anything major, so I had the confidence in the big black van to uh, get me out here and do this. Um, but it wasn't without some twists and turns and U-turns and stops and light nights and long nights and uh, sleepless nights, for sure. But... Uh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my kids, Noah, Bailey, and Jacob, for you know supporting me on this endeavor and this journey. Um, for my sister uh, Becky and her husband Scott and the kids, they've been huge um, advocates for me and and uh, have been really interested in what I'm doing, and uh, it kind of helped push me to keep going. Uh, you know, for the chats with my sister Shelly online and my sister Leanne, even though she doesn't talk to me anymore. I get it. It's This is this is what life is all about, right? It twists and turns and uh, I, always tell, I always tell people everything has an expiry, whether it be a relationship, food, your job, and even our lives. There's an expiry point. So it's about trying to do as many things that make you happy and enjoying life to the fullest. So I don't have a whole lot more things to do out here on my bucket list. I do want to go out in a Zodiac or maybe a covered boat if it's going to be raining and uh, smack a whale on the ass or maybe just to see one, that'd be kind of nice and cool. Um, I saw them on the East Coast when I was with my pops. So it'd be nice to see them out here. And yeah, I just wanna encourage people to, I know I 
made a video there not too long ago about not saying no. Don't don't say no anymore. If somebody asks you to do something or they want you to be involved with somebody, something, or they want you to just come over and hang out or do supper with them or work on a board of directors with some something that's your passion, um, we have to stop saying no. We have to start doing the things that are going to make us happy. In the last two years, I think we've all realized that with COVID, it um, made us kind of miss the things that we thought that we loved doing. And in turn, it made us realize that we miss everything. We're missing out on everything that we say no to. Um, so my uh, advice, or I encourage people to, you know, stop saying no and start doing, um, just get out there and start doing things and you'll experience things that you've never experienced before in your life. Um, and I don't know, I don't really, I don't know what else to say. It's been a really fun, amazing trip. Like I said, um, I've met some amazing people on this trip. Um, do I want to go back to Ontario? Not really. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've totally enjoyed this, this uh, leg of my journey. And I'm just going to kick back. I'm going to kind of go offline for a bit and just kind of enjoy backtracking taking some different routes and I know everybody's like oh post pictures and do videos Ugh. I've got like thousands of pictures um, but it's what's up here it's about what's up here and doing the things that make you happy so um, hope everybody's having fun back home and all of my friends abroad as well um, hopefully we cross paths again soon Take care, everybody.